Hi, this is Mark Bodman. In this session, we're going to discuss the Archimate 3.1 mapping to CSDM version 3. So a little bit about Archimate. So Archimate is an open group standard that was created to help organizations that had enterprise architecture teams. Up until this point, we had a whole, whole bunch of different types of languages used in our enterprise architecture. This is the very first time it was actually created as a standard. And if you want to learn more, you can go to the opengroup.org and go to the Archimate forum. So some of the differences and similarities here between the CSDM and Archimate model. Uh, CSDM focuses largely on the structure of data, how things are dependent on one another. And so, uh, especially when it comes to the infrastructure and getting down to, from a conceptual level down to a uh, physical level of the diagram within CSTM. Archimate, however, covers more or less behavior and interaction between entities. So as you're looking at design elements, you, you have less structure in Archimate and more or less behavior elements that are supported. The use of CSDM obviously is more of a ServiceNow platform specific use case where we have all of our products and services and uh, integrations basically using CSDM from a common data model. Archimate is used by larger enterprises that have typically dedicated enterprise architecture teams and tools that support Archimate. Since Archimate has become a standard, we see a lot of the tool sets that existed and new ones that coming to market that natively support Archimate. The origins of CSDM, it's relatively new. It was created in 2018 as a collaboration between different product units internally. And we soon saw the value of taking our framework and sharing it with customers. Archimate originally uh, was the language that was developed for business design. It was originally business design was a consulting organization and they developed their tools to support their consulting practices. The language was donated to the open group in the 2008 timeframe and subsequently adopted by multiple tool vendors. So first I wanted to kind of just discuss some of the relationship types in Archimate. What you see is a big difference between their modeling structures and what we're dealing with within CSDM from a dependency analysis point of view. Uh, language here, for example, there's a lot of discrepancies like assignment or realization serving access. The language that we use typically inside of the CSDM is depends on uh, or consists of, we do have a consist of uh, like a parent child sort of thing. So composition kind of reflects that, but most of these others don't have a correlation to the entity types that we have and relationship types that we have within CSDM. First thing I wanted to cover is just a high-level TOGAF perspective. Uh, TOGAF and Archimate are both managed by the open group, and there is an activity to harmonize the two. Uh, TOGAF basically existed well before Archimate was donated into the open group, but there's a lot of similarities, but some differences too that needed to be taken care of. So this is going to be covering uh, mostly the Archimate side. Uh, I'll, I'll cover TOGAF in a, a later session. But just to give you an idea how the TOGAF areas stack up, what we see is in the motivation and strategy area, we have capabilities being associated here. Uh, so that's the, the main area that, that associates those two. The business layer is really on foundation and the cell consume. And that's really understanding what the business is and how they consume or need to consume business services. So a lot of those areas to define a company, business unit hierarchy, locations, things like that are all part of business architecture, which we see over in those two do domains in CSDM. The application layer is uh, correlates back to the uh, business application and application service layers. Okay, so that's how you build your applications, what they consist of from a systems diagramming point of view. The technology layer consists of the various technologies that you're using within those systems. And that correlates to the whole orange area managing technical services of CSDM. So the underlying CIs, the types of technologies, the layers and the stack, database technologies, networking, all of that correlates to the technology layer in TOGAF. As we get into Archimate, we will look at the, these entities one at a time. And um, I'm pretty open for feedback on these. This has been my experience talking to a number of customers on how they're mapping. And there's some tool vendors out there that are performing these mappings as well. So this is just a, a quick review. And of course, there's some caveats here that you have to take care of because there's semantic differences and structural differences in how we manage the data. 
So the first one is to discuss here is really the location hierarchy, and that does more or less correspond to the locations, the foundations domain here that we have in CSDM. So that's a good mapping. The, the one that kind of is interesting is business service to business service. Now, you would think that would be a one-to-one, -one, but it's not. Business service in the case of uh, the, um, the way Archimate uses it and defines it is what you provide your businesses, okay? So it's the business out point of view, and it's uh, more or less how, how the business provides services to customers. The contract uh, largely overlaps with the car contract definition, uh, but uh, not entirely. That's more on the external side as well. Uh, so not what, would, what I would say is a contract between internal consumer and provider of a service. And product maps over loosely to the foundation's domain, product models and products there. Now, again, this is more products as sold to customers, not necessarily internal. Uh, there is a CSM module that has a better correspondence to this called uh, products sold. And that, was, that would be a better mapping here. I just don't have the CSM data model uh, as part of this, but you can look at that up in the product views. The application service largely maps over to the business applications. And what I do know is that application services can be hierarchical. So in a way, you can support the application service hierarchy by supporting layers of application services on the Archimate model. So this gets a little confusing because we have two different types versus a, and, and we have a different connotation for application service in our own model, but uh, you could get away with that. The next area that maps pretty well is data object. So that data object does map here pretty well. Uh, and facility, facility largely maps to the use of location hierarchies in the CSDM. So that's a, that's a pretty good map, mapping there. Next area is equipment. So if we look at the equipment maps over largely to the CMDBCIs, that's where the physical infrastructure kind of comes in. And nodes also overlaps there too. So uh, we don't make a big distinction in the CMDB as a CI between nodes and devices and equipment. So uh, all of that is, is part of that particular area. System software, this is an interesting one. System software basically is uh, described in the product table as software product models, but also down in CIs when it's instantiated and in the as is system. So given Archimedes is more of a planning tool, I would say it correlates more strongly over the product models in foundation. But uh, of course, we, there is an instantiation which we capture as as is services with, with regards to the configuration items. Technology interaction is best mapped over the application service. So there's kind of two aspects of app services that deals with the technology interaction and how those various layers or system entities interact. And uh, of course that does then confuse a little bit with the Archimate model with regards to the application service definition already there. So there's there's almost three uses of app services uh, in the Archimate model. They, they separate it out. Uh, the, the next area is technology service, which largely maps to the technology services we have over in CSDM. There is no breakdown of offering. I suppose you can decompose the technology services into their offerings using a, a decomposition rule, but that, that would be product dependent on what you're using to manage our chemical models. So uh, that would be a, a possible, but it wouldn't be all that easy. Uh, communication network also maps over to the application services as we actually, when do service mapping, you can identify uh, the communication between application services. Uh, so that's largely captured here. So this has been the Archimate mapping to CSDM. Uh, obviously we didn't cover every element of the model. There are some other things like capability that maps pretty well, um, but there are a lot of differences in definition here too. So. Uh, hopefully this has been of help and uh, look forward to feedback if you have your own mapping that you come up with or if you have any questions. Thank you very much.